welcome to your workout today. I hope you're feeling good and ready to go. In today's workout, it's a full body workout. We are going to be doing two parts though. Part one, you're gonna have five stations. We're gonna go through them three times. We're gonna work for 40 seconds and we are going to rest for 20 seconds. So you will do 15 total sets in part one. Part two, same setup, five stations. We're gonna go through them three times. We are going to work for 40 seconds and we are going to rest for 20 seconds. So, in total, you will do 30 total sets today, which makes it a 30 minute workout. I hope you're ready to go. Let's do this. All right, here we go. We got about 20 seconds before we start this workout. Remember, we're working for 40 seconds, 20 seconds break on all sets today, two different circuits set up. We're starting off with a tabletop row on a one leg stand. So we're gonna start off with the right leg and we're gonna switch halfway through here. We're just gonna do a row. One leg, four tight, until you look down in and begin. We will switch halfway through this. out your reps. Even if that clock goes off, let's finish out those reps today. We're going to do a seated lateral raise now. We have 10 seconds. We're going to sit down here and we're going to come up to here. Your dumbbells, we're going to keep them off the floor. Chest up, core tight. And again, come up, make a T. Keep the belly button drawn in. Knees are slightly lifted. Turned out. We're going to 
squat down, come up, fly the dumbbells back, elbows go back. And board. So squat down, chest up, fly the dumbbells back. One down, two more times through. Starting off with that single leg, tabletop row. We're gonna start on the right leg. So once again, core tight, knees track over toes. We're just gonna do that row. Five seconds. Three, two, and work. We'll switch half over. More tight, drive the once again, we can, put, we can plant that back foot down on the floor if we need to. We're trying to keep it on the floor. Back to that sumo squat. Some toes are out. 
Hips go back to the heels. Fly back. set. 
in this first part of this workout, back to the sumo squats. So we're squatting down, toes are out, hips go back, stand up, and fly out. And work. Alright, I'm gonna grab a lighter dumbbell for this. We're gonna do 
opposite leg pass through, so alternating leg pass through. So I'm gonna bring this knee up and then back down and alternate these through. So I'm extending as I'm bringing one knee up. Three, two, one, and work. You can pass a pencil through your leg here and it would work to your core type. Something here. This is great for coordination. Belly button drawing in. We can bring the foot down to the floor if we want to modify. After each one, the goal is to try to keep the foot off the floor. Ten seconds. Five. And break. Good work. One time through, we're gonna go back on the calf raises. 10, 10, or I'm sorry, eight, eight, and eight here. Toes are gonna to be pointed out. Calf raise. Get ready. Six seconds. Chest up, toes are gonna to go out first. Eight reps. And work. Knees are slightly bent, shoulders are on back. Four, five, Good job. 
alternate pass through here. Alternating pass through, passing the dumbbell or weight or whatever you have through your legs. Driving one knee up, other foot's extended. Five seconds. And work. So one leg's out, one leg's back. Core side. Halfway, you got to stay with it. That's what's up. 20 seconds.
job. Dumbbell pass through here. Around me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't Last one here, so we're going to go on alternating legs but here. Five seconds. Three, it's two, just the one, two, three. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven will go, cause I got you. I got you. Don't want to show.